Good morning, everybody. Hope you're doing well. It's actually afternoon. It's after 12. Took the dogs out, just made myself these little chicken sandwiches for lunch. The phones are going berserk, so I have a ton of calls. But the thing is now, a mother calls, and then an hour later, the son calls. So I guess they want to call back right away. And these are all just came in this morning, so I'm just going to sit down, eat first, watch Steve's vlog, and then answer these calls as they came in. Not starting at the back, working forwards. I'm going to start with the ones that came in earlier. I'm on my second um, pad now, so that just proves how many have gone through. This is how thick the pad is for uh, calls. There's four on each page, and I've gone through one in the last two. No, move on to things. That was my bank. It is different now. That's BT. Oh yeah, BT's look. Good shop. I believe this was the street I worked on, but that way, when I worked at the solicitor's office. Because I do remember this, because I used to come out and around and go take a walk in town on my lunch hour. Almost positive that was the street. It's moved now. That's on a different street. Yeah, because that's Bar yeah Barclays Bank. But just up there. That wasn't there. HSBC wasn't there. Lloyd's, like I said, that's my bank. Saying so Wolverhampton ranked fifth most miserable UK city. Shoppers react. Come on now. Time on the hands to wander around and see things and not buy things. See if I can see anyone yeah. I know. <laughs> I that's the problem. But it is getting better, and hopefully, with the refurbishment of the Martin Centre. That's funny. She's doing a sentence and then saying it in Black Country accent, which is the Wolverhampton, the West Midlands is known as Black Country, and the Black Country accent is this accent. So I've been getting them right so far. So let's see. I haven't heard from here, so I'll see if I get these ones right. Just to make it clear, um, my accent isn't as broad as that. Uh, I know many people, relatives, people close to me, who do speak like that. Ditto. Um, baby over here. Babies are beautiful little beings. Babies. But in the black country, babies are called babby. Babby. Babby, there's a babby. Oh, look at the babby. It's so cute. So cute, little babby. Oh, oh, look at it. So, I'm gonna lamp ya. I've never said that, but lamp as in a lamp. Lamp here. Okay. He did, didn't he? He did, day. He did, day. See? He did, day. He was, wasn't he? He was, Wally. He was, Wally. <laughs> he was. Oh, I love he was it. Up. And I'll tell you what, isn't it funny? Like, she's doing the uh, the natural, you know, he was, wasn't he? And then you do it in black country accent. But I've always laughed about this. I always call the accent from where I'm from. I say I'm from there. I wasn't born there, so I've never had this accent. But my family has this accent. And... I've always called it a sing-songy accent because it sounds like you're singing. Like she said, he didn't come back. He didn't come back. That's normal tone. He day come back. For some reason, it goes up. He day come back. You can't go, he day come back. It just doesn't sound right. So you do, you put on that high-pitched little, he day come back. Let's see. Ah. He did ah. There's many, 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 many more of these. And they could go on for hours and hours and hours. So like she doesn't have a thick, thick accent, but I can tell she's from the Midlands. So, just to make it clear, um, my accent isn't as broad as that. Anyway, I just wanted to share with you. That's why... Mum knows I never had that accent. I only lived in Wolverhampton for a year, I think, before I came over here. It was just maybe just over a year when we came back from Yorkshire. Because we went from Germany to Yorkshire, well, Germany to the Isle of Wight, to Yorkshire, to Wolverhampton, and then I came to New York. So I didn't have a chance to get the black country twang going. 
but I pick it up and I love it. <laughs> and everyone that has it says, oh God, it sounds so common, but I love it. I used to love when I'm home and I'm around all my family and everyone's talking. And I find the Brits talk very fast anyway. I got bitten behind my ear. That was sad. Two bites behind my ear. Um, and it, it's really funny just to sit there and it's funny when Pete comes home. Ashley's better. She picks up things pretty quick. But I remember Pete looking at me going, I have no idea what they're saying. <laughs> and I just love it because over here, I get what people are saying. But when it's a true Italian, true Italian American, here goes the phone again. When it's true Italian American, I don't get it. It's like, it's so funny to me. It's like put on, but it's not. It's, you know, like coffee and whatever. Anyway, I gotta go. Bye. Okay, the sky's finally starting to break up and we're getting some blue. It's been great and nasty all past two days. I really hope you're doing well. It's actually 9 o'clock. Oh, I thought it was 10. I just came upstairs because I want to watch English Big Brother. Um, Ash got Gravis today and she gave me a... Who is it? Chanel? Zara? It's got a squidgy bottom so you, you can squeeze it, it says, to warm up the mascara. Just get it on the brush. Cool. I'll try that tomorrow. Um, he's just sorting out the pictures that came back from the lab. And uh, he's been making some phone calls. He's on the phone with his mum right now. Uh, he had gone over there after work to drop off that certificate that came yesterday from the county legislator's office. And uh, he left it for his mum because she wasn't there, so he left a note. So obviously she's just called him about it. Anyway, on that note, guys, I'm going to love and leave you for this evening. I hope everybody had a brilliant Tuesday, whatever you did today. I hope it was a good one, and we will definitely see you tomorrow. Good night, guys.